Hey guys, it's Danny, and apple season is in full swing. So I wanted to share with you guys one of my family's newest favorite apple recipes. It's a grain-free apple crisp that also happens to be free of refined sugars as well. So let's take a second and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy insanely delicious real food desserts as much as I do. Okay, now listen here. If you think you don't know how to bake, I promise you this recipe could not be any easier to make and you absolutely can do this. I start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees and then I grab an eight by eight baking dish, mine is ceramic, you could also use glass, and I just spray it down with a little bit of coconut oil. You could also rub some coconut oil or butter in there as well. We just wanna make sure that nothing sticks. Then on to the star of the show, my apples. Now I have five large Honeycrisp apples here. I'm a big fan of the Honeycrisp because they are both crisp and tart and sweet. So that's a really good balance for this recipe and the sweetness of the apples allows us to pull way back on any extra sweetener that we add to the recipe. To cut up the apples, I just like to cut off each apple cheek and then the remaining side. Then you're just gonna lay it down flat and we're gonna cut these into quarter inch half moons and then stack them up and go in half one more time. So this is what they're gonna look like. Repeat that until you've got all the apples ready to go. Then I get them all into a nice big bowl and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's also gonna help them from oxidizing so they don't turn brown on us. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then just gently toss this all together. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I don't wanna add a lot of extra sweetener to this recipe, so I'm just letting the apples shine just the way they are. If you know you like your crisps to be a little sweeter, then you could certainly add a couple extra tablespoons of honey right to your apples. Then I'm just gonna transfer my apples into my prepared baking dish, and we're just gonna lightly even them out on the top so that they're nice and flat. Onto the topping. Now you are gonna need a food processor for this recipe. Mini food processor is perfect for the job. But I do wanna note that most minis are three cups. That means that's how much they hold. And then there's a few that are four cups. If you are going to invest in a food processor, I highly recommend going for the four cup because that extra cup of space really does make a big difference. And you know, I'll leave a link down in the description box below sharing the food processor that I have in use. So into my processor goes a half a cup each of raw almonds, pecans, and walnuts. Then I'm drizzling in a quarter cup of honey. Again, that's all the added sweetener we're using. And then I have a half a cup of shredded coconut, which also has a nice natural sweetness to it, and that helps us to pull back on the added sweeteners. Sprinkle in a quarter teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of melted organic pastured butter, and we are gonna chat about butter in just a second. And then I'm gonna pop on my lid, and I'm gonna pulse this on and off, on and off, on and off, until it starts to become a nice loose ball. You can see how all of those ingredients started to kind of stick together, and that's that loose ball that I'm talking about. So once you've got this texture, your topping is ready to go. And all I do is I take it by little clumps, little handfuls, and just gently, um, sprinkle it over the top of the apples. It is a little bit sticky, so you're just gonna work in clumps. And the goal is, is to get as much of the apples covered with the crisp as you can. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? From here, we're just gonna take the whole thing, pop it into our 350 degree oven for about 35, 40 minutes, or until that topping is a nice golden brown and the apples are nice and tender. Okay, so here's the deal with the butter. Conventional butter are cows that are fed grains. Organic pastured butter are cows that are allowed to graze on their natural diet of greens. This is like the kind of butter that our grandparents used to eat. And the thing is, what they eat creates a completely different end product. Literally, the molecular structure of the butter changes. So, if you are eating a conventional butter, that is going to translate in the body as a low-quality, saturated fat. If you're eating an organic pastured butter, that is gonna translate as a high quality omega-3 fat, and it is also known to be high in vitamin K, which is known to decalcify buildup in the arteries. So if you are eating butter, I highly recommend going with the organic pastured. Mm, mm, mm. Not only are you gonna know that this apple crisp was done because of that brown topping, you're gonna to know because your kitchen is gonna smell like a little slice of heaven. 
So from here, what we need to do is let it cool for at least 15 minutes. If you want to eat it hot, you can scoop it out after about 15, 20 minutes. Or if you want to eat it at room temperature or cold, you would just let it cool to room temperature, then you could cover it up, store it in the fridge until you're ready to enjoy it. But my friends, when it is time to enjoy, I say the best way to enjoy it is to heat it up, make sure it's nice and warm like this is here, and then give it a scoop of your very favorite vanilla ice cream. You could also do yogurt here. Mm, mm, mm. This is my kind of crisp. The apples, they're tender, but they still maintain that integrity, so they still have a little bite to them, which I love, because it makes it taste really fresh and vibrant. And then the crumble on top, the crisp, it has a nice cinnamon, buttery flavor, and has a great texture because the nuts keep it nice and crunchy. And of course, you top anything with a little bit of vanilla ice cream, and we just took it right up to the next level. You guys, have got to try this recipe, and when you do, snap a picture on Instagram or on Facebook so I can see the clean and deliciousness that you're cooking up in your very own kitchens. And make sure, if you want to print this recipe, you head on over to cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Gotta find my spoon. That is the bomb. Real food desserts, because I know I am. I will, however, say most mini food processes, food processes, boop, right up to the next level, escalator to the next level. Anyway, you guys have got, huh? We got the conventional butter. Oh, that's not the next line. Oh, yeah. I, I, I needed to add something, is what I'm saying. Okay.